planetous landscapes await within the depths of Dead Valley. It is officially the hottest place on Earth and most surprisingly it is accessible. Within two hours of drive from Las Vegas like we did and a little closer to around four hours of drive from coast of California, it is located in the northern Mojave Desert. This region seems to be out of the world as the land is all barren but a place for photographers or who loves photography. This region is filled with sand dunes, soft flats, small mountains and rest all desert. The place you see now is Mesquite Sand Dunes. This is a place to sit and watch sunset. You can walk barefoot and click some great photographs like I did. In case of photography, if you say, I'm a novice, I head towards each destination with my iPhone in hand and try to capture all the moments I can. Death Valley is harsh because everywhere you can see is no green but very photogenic and picturesque. Now we are going towards Mozak Canyon Trail. On the way you would also see the Death Valley Village. The Mozak Canyon has the mountains made of rocks with different colors of stones or pebbles as a mosaic. It would take around two hours to complete the trail. No two plays are of the same type, so each place will give you a different kind of feeling. Again, we are hitting the road and going towards the Bad Water Basin. Now what you see in front is the Bad Water Basin. Back somewhere in 1913, a temperature of 57 degrees Celsius, 134 degree Fahrenheit was recorded at Furnace Creek. This is the Furnace Creek Visitor Center. And the mountain you can see of orange color is really orange color due to the sun. Very beautiful view of sunset miles and miles of distance you would find no one only few cars maybe who are visiting similar like us there is no service and during hot summer you wouldn't get any shade area so only the furnace creek visitor center is the place where you would get some help and all the assistance it's a very beautiful place to be visited and winter is the best time <music> 